entrance him the steadfast love the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning new every morning great is thy faithfulness o lord great is thy faithfulness thanksgiving masses offered by sunil fernandez on his birthday a parishioner for favors received the rotten family for favors received for the intentions of valentina on her birthday members of the mesquita family and cornell anthony on his birthday third day mass for gladys de silva seventh day mass for xavier fernandez first death anniversary of peter de lima death anniversaries of dominic sorau and lucille ayar for the souls of xavier moses david joseph francis parampat Joe Dias, Casimir, Therese, Danny, and Ignatius Cordino, Primus and Anne de Silva, Wilma Nunes, Hilda de Souza, Bowsley Thomas, Mabel Fernandez, Josephine and Vincent Fernandez, Anthony and Cyprian de Silva. Adrian Pinto Sister Andrew Magdalene Patrao and departed members of family Martha Gonzalez Father Rock Arosa Maria and Santa Ana de Souza Floriano Curino Rebello and Brian Menezes for the departed members of Muschetti family and for the souls in purgatory in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit dear brothers and sisters today we celebrate the memoria of saint pius the 10 one of the greatest leaders of the catholic church who worked for the reformation in the church brought about many changes the popes many of them and all the abbots and other saints who have been the servant leaders teach us in our everyday life how to serve others as leaders in the church today as we celebrate the memoria of saint pius the 10 we pray to the lord that he may give us the grace to be servant leaders for the times that we have failed to be servant leaders let's ask pardon and forgiveness from the lord you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope Saint pious the 10th with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude graciously grant that following his teaching and example we may gain an eternal prize through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the book of ruth Naomi had a relative of her husband's 
a worthy man of the clan of Elimelech, whose name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, Let me go to the field and glean among the ears of grain, after him in whose sight I shall find favor. And she said to her, Go, my daughter. So she set out and went and gleaned in the fields after the reapers. And she happened to come to the part of the field belonging to Boaz, who was the clan of Elimelech. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Now listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in another field or leave this one, but keep close to my young women. Let your eyes be filled on the field that they are reaping and go after them. Have I not charged the young men not to touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels and drink what the young men have drawn. Then she fell off on her face, bowing to the ground, and said to him, Why have I found favor in your eyes, that you should take notice of me, since I am a foreigner? But Boaz answered her, All that you have done for your mother-in-law, since the death of your husband, has been fully told to me. And how have you left your father and mother and your native land, and came to a people that you did not know before? So Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife. And he went into her, and the Lord gave her conception, and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, who has not left you this day without a Redeemer, and may his name be renowned in Israel. He shall be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is more to you than seven sons, has given birth to him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her lap and became his nurse. And the women of the neighborhood gave him a name, saying, A son has been born to Naomi. They named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse the father of David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response to the reading will be, Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be blessed and prosper. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful wine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Let us prepare our hearts to hear the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You have one Father who is in heaven, and you have one instructor, the Christ. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. So do and observe whatever they tell you, but not the works they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to move them with their finger. 
they do all their deeds to be seen by others for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long and they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and greetings in the market places and being called rabbi by others but you are not to be called rabbi for you have one teacher and you are all brothers and call no man your father on earth for you have one father who is in heaven neither be called instructors for you have one instructor the christ the greatest among you shall be your servant whoever exalts himself will be humble and whoever humbles himself will be exalted the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ in today's gospel we see jesus challenging the pharisees and the scribes their attitudes that they had first he affirms their position to give the law to interpret the law and to instruct the people because it was their duty to instruct the people in the right way of following the law but the attitude with which they did it was not right and that's why jesus condemns their behavior jesus is not generally speaking about all the pharisees and the scribes because there were some of them who were very good for example gamaliel who was known as a great teacher was a man of justice and integrity there is also nicodemus who came to jesus in the night to listen to him to learn from him who also helped at the burial of jesus these were also pharisees but what jesus is condemning is the attitude with which some of the pharisees conducted themselves in the society jesus condemns mainly the two attitudes of pharisees which we can sum up by saying first of all they do not practice what they preach or they preach to others but do not practice in their lives and the second attitude is that they try to project a very good image of themselves they want to attract attention to themselves and not to god not to the law of god or the duty that which was assigned to them as we said in the earlier statement as i said it was their duty to instruct people in the law but we see how they interpreted the law and how they expected the people to follow it and they themselves never led the people by the example of life and that is what jesus condemns or in the other examples where jesus says where pharisees want to have the prominent seats and the places also they want to show off and show to people that they are good practicing jews that is why they stood and expected to be saluted in the market places and the prominent seats in the synagogues and other celebrations a follower of christ is to be a servant leader and that is the call of the kingdom of god that is the value that jesus is talking about today because it is not only for the pharisees that jesus is condemning today not only their attitude but the same attitude which is found which was found in the early christian history among the jews who were converted and with the gentiles also the same attitude which is found in our society as well today we may be serving as leaders in different capacities maybe as the head of the family head of a institution or a company or as a leader in the society or as religious leaders do we practice what we preach to others or do we do things only to attract attention for ourselves or to project a very good image of ourselves we need to ask this question to ourselves as the lord challenges each one of us today if we fail to follow this principle of servant leader a leader who serves and leads by the example then let us ask the lord to give us the grace to acknowledge that we have failed and to ask his grace today through this eucharistic celebration 
to be servant leaders. Amen. Offitry him, take our bread. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. We are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you set. Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget. We are the signs of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teaching of Pope Saint Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Pope Pius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest holy is the Lord you are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope Saint Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, 
that by the power of this heavenly table we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer in times of coronavirus. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we come before your picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, pray, pray for, for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Final hymn, Maiden Mother. Maiden Mother, meek and mild, take, oh, take me for thy child. All my life, oh, let it be my best joy to think of thee when my eyes are closed and sleep. Through the night my slumber keep, make my latest thought to be, how to love thy son and thee.